We're really proud and honoured to have been awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize for our world's leading work in developing archaeological technology and techniques. So it's a really prestigious accolade, you know, and it represents, I guess, an important message um, that we've been recognised for world-class excellence and, and achievement. You know, it is actually the highest form of national recognition that UK education institutions can achieve. So it's excellent recognition for the team and innovation is one of the university's values um, and our archaeological team obviously embody that, uh, that value with the innovative way in which they're developing their discipline area. We began with digital transformations at the object scale, looking at scanning that has been used in conjunction with key partners like the Royal College of Surgeons, a project called Digitised Diseases. And we've upscaled that and upskilled across a series of projects. So we now look at not only objects, but sites, monuments, landscapes, and the broader understanding that that gives, coupled with that societal need, where that impact um, can affect people, individuals, communities. So it's, it's the culmination of, uh, of capabilities. We use digital documentation methods. We use the way that we confuse that data through imaging visualization, visualizing heritage. And that is what this, this award recognizes, that we, we have developed capabilities and skill sets at Bradford that are quite unique. I hope it will just highlight how valuable archaeology is. So highlighting that archaeology and heritage aren't just about looking at the past, although that's important. Actually, crucially, it's about how they're valuable today, what they mean for societies and people today, and how, how actually the past um, has got a role to play in our contemporary society, whether it's in having conversations about um, death and burial, whether it's about building resilience and cohesion between refugee and host communities, whether it's enabling people to engage with their identities and their pasts. The reason we all do it is that we're all really passionate about our research. Um, we love what we do, but fundamentally we see a societal value in what we do. And I think that's that that drives us rather than striving to get the prizes and the awards. The prizes and awards are amazing. They give real validation and publicity to what we're doing. But the be all and end all and the reward for us are actually seeing the, the statements we get from our, from our participants or from the communities we work with, seeing the real change we make in people's lives. And um, for us, I think that's what drives our research.